Hi, my name is Leah Capino. I'm a local artist in Helena, Montana. We're at the Jailhouse Gallery at the Myrna Loy, and behind me and on the walls around me are uh, paintings that I created um, in 2020, mostly. Most of these paintings were created at my kitchen table while my three boys were attending school remotely. Um, I didn't really know at first why I was painting these glaciers, um, but there was something about the landscape without humans in them that was appealing to me at that time, um, as it was for many Montanans who got out and explored a lot of nature, maybe more so than they ever did. Um, in experiencing painting after painting, and I've gone through all of them from A to Z, <laughs> um, the Montana glaciers started to have a little bit of a draw in parallel with the experience that I was having and many, maybe many of you were having too. Um, I began to think about cycles of dependency and thinking about essential resources and the idea of this pure water coming from the highest peaks in our state. And I thought about how it's been captured there for so long. I thought about how the glaciers themselves um, kind of have a bit of a time scale, like a long view, if they were to be, I don't know, treasures or pockets of wisdom that we have stored in our state. Um, and I started to think about what little bits of wisdom they might have for us um, as we were too facing something of a demise, especially when we didn't know what was going on. Um, I started thinking about the cycles of give and take. I started thinking about what it meant to start to deplete oneself when we're asked to give and give and give, like the glaciers have over time depleted their own stores in order to nurture everything down beneath them. Um, and it's a, it's a precious resource to give of oneself. It's an incredible way to define relationships. And there were a lot of questions and a lot of um, thoughts on responsibility to oneself and responsibility to the creatures around us or people around us that I began to meditate on as I was painting these pieces. Uh, with these glaciers, I found that there were a lot, of, a lot of truisms that I could come up with. <laughs> like um, Sometimes it's our surroundings that define us. Um, sometimes it's the definition of where we are no longer and where we are. Um, it's not always about how much space we take up, but um, what we're doing for other people. Um, I think there's a certain joy in all of that, and I like to express that in the colors in my work too. I like to see that regardless of how we choose to live our lives, we can kind of go down sparkling, <laughs> just like the ice up there on the, on the peaks. There's a lot about community as well that I think we can see as Montanans that are so very immersed in the nature around us. We can see what weather cycles um, occur and we know that there is a time to replenish and be quiet during the winters and we know there's a time to um, come outdoors and really enjoy everything in the summers and so when it comes to lessons learned from the glaciers, that was an important one for me to slow down and take the time to be quiet in the winter and then um, have that energy stored up for when it's needed. We need to think about how much value we place into replenishing and how much value we place on those who are helping us replenish too. Um, my parents moved to town um, in May of 2020 and were able to help myself and my family out so very much. And I, it was something I never thought would ever happen. And I, it's something I'm incredibly grateful for. And so part of this exhibition is a bit of, um, it's a bit of a thank you to them. So 
for what they've given and for how they've been around. Um, and I'm not sure how to properly um, tell their story and um, share what they've been to me over the years. And I just think this is just one little tiny coded way of saying thank you. All of the paintings I have here were first itty bitty little sketches. And every single one of these paintings has the potential to become a much, much larger piece like the one behind me. Um, They're all named glaciers whenever possible. And I went to the trouble to find um, the, the native names for all of these places whenever I could as well. Um, a lot of the times the colors are a little bit more about the joy and the emotion that I feel when dwelling on these thoughts about the glaciers. And I hope that all of us can see that little tiny sketches sometimes can, or little tiny gestures for people can sometimes make a really, really big impact and turn into something large. <laughs> You can find a lot more of my work at Omerta Arts on 800 Front Street downtown near the Great Northern Town Center. And you will find six other artists there in the studios as well as a bunch of great community classes offered and a sweet little gallery. Hope you have a chance to stop by.